What's up everybody, it's Aparicio, and today this is going to be color grading for beginners. And we're going to be going through my uh, color grading workflow, and I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible for you. So, let's get right into it. So, we have our shop, now let's go over to the color page. And I've set two color space transform nodes, and I'm going to be grading inside of those. Uh, I will probably have to make a separate video on color space transform. So I shot in a vlog Apple ProRes. We're gonna look at this image. We're kind of sitting in rec 709 and I'm just gonna adjust my exposure and my white balance. We're gonna color correct right now guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to first just create a node right click add node and then add a serial. Okay, all we're gonna do in this one we're gonna call it primaries if you go right here to your wheels these are our primary color wheels so that's what I'm gonna be adjusting in this um, node here so I'm gonna create a sort of cinematic look but also a natural feeling look I don't want the look to be too distracting or you can tell there's a creative look on it so all right so here are your scopes your parade these are your scopes under your parade. So you kind of want to check your scopes while you're editing and you want to know how to read the scopes, all right? So down here is zero and then up here is 1023. And if I put my gain, which is my highlights, targets the highlights, but I put that all the way up and it's, it starts to break. The highlights start to break at 1023, you see that? And then I'll go right here to reset it. And if I go to my lift, which targets my shadows primarily, you can see it's going past that and it's breaking my shadows that means there's no longer information in the shadows okay so we don't want it to really be touching this bottom line the shadows so i'm just going to open the image a little bit i'm just going to lift that and now you can see we have some room down here and then the highlights i will keep about right there around seven six eight okay and then we come to our gamma here and as you can see guys uh, this is going to target primarily our midtones. Let's drag that down to bring our image to a natural look without crushing the shadows. Okay, and then we can go back to our highlights and bring that up a little bit. Okay, cool. We kind of have a neutral look here. All right, and then offset over here pretty much controls the whole image. So this is pretty much all I do with my primaries. And then you're going to create another node and a serial node and you're going to call that curves okay now the curves are right here and this is similar to the wheels you can pretty much do the same thing if i go like this i'm bringing up my highlights and if i go like that i'm bringing down my shadows oh we don't want that uh oh what did i do and then the midtones you can control right in the middle okay so right here, you go up here to reset it. So now what we're gonna do is, this right here, we can bring it up a little bit to bring up the information in our shadows. And then I'm gonna go right here, and just bring those shadows down. But we're still not losing information in the shadows, as you can see. And then we're gonna create a classic S curve, because it looks like an S. We're gonna come right here and bring that back up to around seven six eight for a more cinematic look all right and it kind of emulates an s the way it is shaped that's why it's called the s curve now guys don't panic okay we're almost done with our correction all right we're going to create another serial right click add serial and we're going to call this wb for warner bros I'm just kidding. It's for white balance, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your primaries. You're gonna go over here, drop down and click on the vector scope. This is where you can read uh, where your skin tones sit, what direction your hues are uh, pulling towards. And this is where you can adjust the white balance. If you come here to offset, we're gonna adjust the entire image's color, the entire image's hue we're going to manipulate. So I'm going to bring mine down a little bit and you kind of want this to be centered, to be even, evenly distributed. 
okay? And to really check the white balance, what you're gonna wanna do is go over here, click it, and you're gonna drag it over a white or neutral gray um, tone in the shot and see where all your numbers sit. My red is at 181, my green is at 179, and my blue is at 182. The most dominant thing in my shot is blue. So what I can do is for a more, you know, accurate and precise way to white balance is going over here to my bars. These are called the color bars in the primaries. And let's go to our gain, and we're gonna bring our blue down just one, okay? Now we're gonna click back, and check. Let's go to gamma, okay? So we brought our blues down. So just see where you're at. So I'm just gonna bring my red down one. So I think all these numbers are overall pretty close to being the same. You can also use our offset to adjust the white balance. So, so offset and color bars. Color bars are a little more precise, okay? So just keep tweaking with the offset and the color bars and eventually you'll have pretty balanced whites. So now we have just color corrected our image. We're gonna highlight all of these and hit Control D or I guess Command D on Mac. And we're gonna see what we look like before and after. So Rec 709, color corrected. And now let's create our look. Okay, we're gonna click that, add node, add a serial. And you're going to call this look. All right, easy enough. So for my look, and I'm gonna go to my primary wheels and I'm gonna drag my offset down toward the teal. So the, depending on how far you go, it's the more dramatic it'll be. So let's hit Control D over the node, see what we've done. And you see the dramatic difference we've made. Now for me, I'm gonna preserve the highlights. I'm gonna favor preserving the highlights more than the shadows. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to go to gain, which primarily targets our highlights, and I'm gonna drag opposite of that teal. So I'm gonna be dragging toward the red uh, magenta area but not too much where you'll lose your look. You're just kind of bringing your skin tones back because the most important thing in the shot is the talent. You want to make sure the skin tones remain consistent and gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Phenomenally gorgeous. Breathtakingly gorgeous. So we brought our skin back, I believe. So let's hit Control D over our look. And as you can see, we've added a nice look to our image. So let's create another node after this, and it's gonna be a serial, and we're gonna go ahead and label it face. If we come over here to curves, okay, we're going to go to hue versus hue, okay? So that means we're adjusting the hue of our color, okay? That's what hue versus hue means. If we go to like hue versus sat, that means we're adjusting the saturation of our color. So right now we're gonna adjust the color of our hue. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna take a sample of our skin, click it, and it'll pop up right here on the hue versus hue curves. And I'm just gonna kinda drag up a little bit, just a tiny bit to get some of that, get some of that green teal out of my face. So we'll go off on with the face. It's very subtle, but I've kinda brought my face back a little more, right? Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is, we're going to add another serial, and you kinda wanna make um, the shot pop a little bit more. It's already popping, but we can be a little bit more dramatic. So what I like to do is go ahead and create a node, and then go ahead and label it PW for Pharrell Williams. I'm just kidding. It's gonna be for our power windows, okay? You're gonna go over here to your window, you're gonna click down here to your gradient and go up here to your highlight, turn it on to see what you're doing. We're gonna stretch it out to create softness, okay? And I'm gonna drag it here so while I'm targeting the right side of the frame, the left side of the frame. Jeez. We're gonna go back to our primaries and we're gonna drag down our gain a little bit and our gamma a little bit, okay? And then we could spread it a little more. So now what you're gonna wanna do is right click, add node and add a parallel. And this is gonna be the same thing, but on the other side. 
So we're going to click our highlights, see what we're doing. And we're just going to adjust like that. And then go ahead and drag down the gain a little bit. And the gamma a little bit. Not as much as on the left side because you can see a good amount of light is coming from this side. So we don't want to make it too dark to make the shot look unnatural. And now we could even go back to face, go back to the curves and go to hue versus sap. Highlight my face and just bring down the saturation of my face a little bit. And then we can go over here to hue versus luminance. So that's color versus brightness. So we're affecting the brightness of the color. Okay, click on my face and drag down a little bit. And why we did those two things is just so my face isn't looking a little bit unnatural and it's not popping out too unnaturally because then we would have a problem. And now for your final touch, guys. I know a lot of you out there love some film grain. You all love that film grain. So we're gonna go up here to effects, type in film, drag it down. We're gonna click here and we're gonna go to 35 millimeter. Okay, and you, you can zoom in and adjust it, make it more prominent and increase the grain size. Cool. And now our shot is pretty much finished. You have pretty much successfully graded. I'm gonna call this FG for film grain. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my primaries in the beginning. I'm just gonna put my saturation to about 45, okay, to create a more uh, serious mood because I'm looking pretty serious in the shot. What do you guys think? Am I intimidating? Am I scary? Is my look in this shot convincing? If not, let me know in the comments. I think this look is Oscar worthy. So anyway, guys, finally, let's just go through what we just did. We have our basic shot, Rec 709. Ugly, disgusting, despicable. Now let's look at the shot with our correction, bringing the shot to um, correct white balance, decent exposure, and now we're getting somewhere. Now we're like, ah, this looks good. Okay, and now we have our shot with our color grade, with our look. And we just added a very dramatic kind of look to this shot, right? You could throw it in a movie. So guys, re just remember the two things you wanna keep in mind uh, when color grading is don't make it distracting, keep it kind of natural, keep it cool guys, keep it cool. And you want it to remain consistent throughout your project. Those two things will keep you golden. But I think we created an effective shot that looks pretty dramatic. So, sweet. I hope that helped all the beginners. It's really that easy. You have your Rec. 709 footage, you wanna correct it, and then you wanna add your look. If you stay simple, stay subtle, I think you'll find success. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. I'll be releasing a couple videos a week teaching you about DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I'm done. I'm out. You're out. Let's go. I will see you in the next one.